New research shows the dangers for children who play football could be worse than previously thought. The study in the journal Annals of Neurology compares kids who start playing tackle football before age 12 to others who start later. Researchers found the younger players will, on average, develop cognitive and emotional symptoms associated with the de degenerative brain disease CTE much earlier. Jamie Yukas spoke to a California family whose son began playing when he was nine. The family blames football for his early death. I loved my son. He, he, he was just a wonderful kid. Gregory Ransom is heartbroken about the loss of his 13-year-old son, James. It can be hard to look at these sometimes. Just over a year before his death, James suffered a brutal hit to the head while playing football as a lineman. After the game, his dad noticed blood around his ear. He was known in the neighborhood as kid would fall down and, and just get right back up and go play, and he didn't, he didn't, never cried. I talked to him about uh, these things, and he said, well, I get my bell rung all the time playing football, and it was shocking to me to hear that. James's sister, Julia, said his personality began to change immediately after the hit. You could just look into his eyes, and he just wasn't the same person, and just you could see that inside he knew he was hurting and he was struggling, so that was really hard to deal with as a sibling, just seeing that happen and not knowing what to do. James suffered from short-term memory and vision loss and OCD. He attempted suicide just three months after the hit and was committed into a mental institution for a month. Nearly a year later, he took his own life. He was happy, a friendly kid, compassionate kid. You think this is all because of football? I know it was. A new study published in Annals of Neurology looked at the brains of 246 deceased amateur and professional football players. 211 of them had the degenerative brain disease known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, which could be caused by repetitive hits to the head. The study showed kids who began playing tackle football before the age of 12 began showing cognitive and emotional symptoms associated with CTE an average of 13 years earlier than those who started after 12. I think it's concerning because it was such a, a, a change. Dr. Ann McKee of Boston University is the study's lead researcher. Children's brains are rapidly developing between 8 and 12 years old. They're laying down new uh, networks, they're, they're pruning the different connections, they're, they're sort of enhancing their brain. Lineman of the year. There is lineman of the year. James. The Ransom family did not get James's brain tested for CTE, but they hope to prevent his injuries from occurring in other children. Yeah, is there something specific you want to see happen with youth football? I want parents and mothers and fathers to know the science and to know what's happening to their son's brains. Because if a mother knows what's happening inside that helmet, she is not going to let her son out on the football field. That was Jamie Yukis reporting from Orange County, California. The study also showed that for each year er earlier kids began playing football, they could begin to experience symptoms associated with CTE two and a half years sooner. I thought it was really telling that hearing from that neuroscientist about just how vulnerable yeah. the brain of a young child is, especially during the ages of eight and 10. I can only imagine the anguish these parents have been going through. Yeah, and then what they tell you is, you know, just shake it off when you get your bell rung. That's, that's not yeah. the not That the wisdom way, is but changing. That's right, it is changing.